Yo, what's going on? Uh, it's Young Lee Jr. So I just want to kind of talk about uh, just a little bit about the interview with President uh, Biden and George. So I, I thought it was all right. Um, basically, they was asking him generic questions and pretty much a follow up uh, from the the post the post debate, you know, with Donald Trump and basically stating that, you know, uh, some many people and his supporters are concerned of his health. Uh, he was stumbling on his words. He had a hard time articulating himself. Does he still have enough drive? and uh to continue the race upcoming november right you know for re-election possibly and um you know uh, <laughs> president biden did what he could i mean i believe he was a little bit more coherent here uh saying that hey man you know my confidence is still up the roof i'm still going to continue uh to you know be involved in the presidency and i know they was trying to you know uh, talk about the 25th amendment a possibility if he decides to resign or uh they can get a possible replacement uh due to like uh, some type of disability or they believe the president is, has the incapability to continue to run uh you know you have the next succession in man will be the vice president right it would be kamala harris and i think like that was gonna be a separate video i believe like kamala harris might try to run for the 2028 election right but I think, um, I don't know. I mean, they were stating, too, that uh, according to the statistics in the polls, that Donald Trump is actually leading the polls right now. He, you know, he uh, got a lot of followers as well. And uh, President Biden is pretty much aware that he has a lot of followers. I think he was denying the fact that he's losing the polls. But uh, he was just saying that, you know, Donald Trump is a uh, pathological liar. <laughs> you know, he was just uh, defending himself. And, um, you know, we just wish that, uh, you know, he was able to, at the next debate, can he, you know, uh, articulate his thoughts a little bit more and talk about address a lot of issues that's going on in the country, right? You know, I understand the inflation is not totally his fault because you got these big private corporations and uh, we don't make this, us necessary deals. So we don't control our own oil and gas prices going up astronomically. And then you have, uh, yeah, the money's continuously losing its value. But I understand like the administration, they spend like millions of dollars in the you know to ukraine and israel and all these wars and stuff that we can allocate that money and funds to homeless veterans or other programs that americans need right so uh that's the biggest thing because uh in middle class is not like the biggest uh it's not in the greatest shape as it is right now compared to 20 years 30 years ago so uh you know this is like a a big deal a big thing um so you know they had to address these uh, situations can president biden be coherent enough to lead the nation. Uh, that's a that's the biggest thing. You got a lot of young people too. They said on um, down. Uh, they have a lot of Trump supporters, and you know we'll we'll see. You know uh, how's this going to happen? You know they say he may win a couple states, may win some swing states, Joe Biden. But um, you know, it, it, like I said, it was just like get to the point. It was more of a follow up uh, interview. I don't think it was a waste of time, but uh, we had to dig a little bit deeper. And also too, he had like a little rally as well. So. Um, I don't know, you know, you think some people, some supporters are kind of like, you know, not confident in him and they thinking like, okay, we're going to back down. We got to do something because a Democratic Ooh. National Committee is uh, not in good shambles right now. They was like, hey, man, they control the House and the Senate, you know, um, just when Trump getting in office, you know, it's not going to be working out in their favor, man. So you're going to repeal a lot of things. And I think that's what's uh, pretty much going on. You already got the, like I said, Obama's just helping them out and running the White House for him, but it's it's just a little bit going on but um like i said I still try to read like the project 2025 i know that uh the republican community is really notorious about that but i just thought the interview was okay you know so but that's just pretty much my thoughts i don't want to draw here too long you guys continue to like comment subscribe share this video it's your boy only jr i'm out deuces